One last thing I want to talk about is education, right? A lot of us think education, oh, I'm going to school, I'm learning, you know. Like I said, ownership, taking ownership of what you learn. Now, we know a lot of college, I mean, I know a lot of college professors, a lot of college educated students, and I'm like, damn, they're, they're, you've got a bachelor's? You know, you're like, you start learning, you start meeting these people, and you're like, wait a second. You know, so they did it, I can do it. But I don't really connect to them because the first thing they did is move to Beverly Hills. Well, they don't even come around anymore. Or all they want to do is talk about their cars and their mansions and all that. And I, I don't really connect to that, I don't really relate to that. So what I want to leave you with is being driven to go to college is not just about, ah, oh, you know, I'm cool now, I got my bachelor's, my master's, I know everything now. It's not about that. Education, even though we graduate, go to ceremony and all that, education is a lifetime experience. Imagine what we can do to use that for our people. No matter what you do, if you're going to be a dentist, if you're going to be a lawyer, if you're going to be a chef, no matter what you do, don't forget your background. Whether you be Mexican, Central American, Native American, African American, do not forget where you come from. Because a lot of our people, they consider college education as, I'm out of here. I don't got to deal with these people no more. I've met those people. I've met Mexicans who do not like other Mexicans. Yes. I've met blacks who cannot stand other blacks. I've met Asians who cannot stand other Asians. They say, hell no, there ain't be a bunch of Asians. But you're Chinese. There's be a bunch of Mexicans there. Dude, you're from Oaxaca. You know? So education does not mean learning to be white and learning to get away from your history and culture. You have to transform that education, learning to be you, learning to be Mexican, Central American, indigenous, black, learning to be Asian. Because we have been forced to forget who we are for the 500 years. We have been forced to completely disconnect ourselves. Let me give you an example. Who's the mayor of um, Los Angeles, right? Yeah, Regosa. He was a UCLA grad, machista. He was down with it. He was in it. Protest, oh yeah, who knows? And then they, what happened recently when they count everybody, what's that called? Census. Census, right? And you're supposed to mark who you are. Who you think you are, at least. And uh, in an interview, you can look this up. This is actually on the LA Times. They asked him, mind you, a machista. UCLA grad, what did he mark in the U.S. Census Bureau for 2010? White. That is some scary stuff. <laughs> right? Sorry, I don't So what does that mean? What does it mean when the mayor of Yaragosa all representing the the so-called Hispanic, right? They call us Hispanic or Latino, which if you go to my workshop, we'll talk about that. So what does he mean? Is he really representing the Mexican, Central American people of color? What is going through his mind when he's running in those offices? He's whitewashed. Thank you. I was a machista. They were like making a big deal because he was a machista. Well, they don't got to worry about him now. They have nothing to worry about beyond a little because he's white. Self-identified as white. So what that means is our education, please don't turn out to be a little Please remember who you are. And if you're not taught, investigate. If you're not taught, look it up. It's easy to Google. Trust me. Every time I hear something, let me Google it. <laughs> You know, and not that you're going to learn everything on, online, but it's a good point of reference for you. What does the term Hispanic really mean? Let me look it up. What does the term Latino really mean? Education is easily at the tip of your keyboard. Right? And please, please don't turn on your like Please. Now, just to leave you with this, know that you're worth it. It sounds cliche. No. Not for me.
me to know that you're worthy. Not for me to know that you deserve this. You need to know that you deserve this. You need to know that you're worthy. You stand up all my finals are coming. You guys get through high school. How many periods are in high school? Seven. Seven, Seven damn hours of different topics. My goodness. How do you guys do it? Six? You got the period? Okay, six, seven. If you did five. So one. Uh-oh. Then you know, you guys are already, so you're already kind of trained. I don't care. I can do this, I can do this. When you go out there, take ownership of what you learn. Take ownership of those hours of your day. And just to leave it, I have a little poem I want to share. And I'll leave you with this. Very brief. But I want to share this with you. Because, you know, why does she care so much? What does she care? She don't know me. Why should I probably know you more than you know yourself? And this is called, ain't nothing gonna hold us back. Ain't nothing gonna hold us back from our awakening the total take back of our consonant, our identity and our history. Knowledge is the key to our full humanity and we are in total recovery. Take from your past, build today for your future. Let's make this moment last. Pay attention to your talents. No, you are worth so much. You're not a challenge. You are a beautiful seed, growing strong and deep, studying our history. We will not allow our ancient wisdom to bleed or be hidden from our lives. The truth starts with you. The truth starts with me. Let's open the eyes of our hearts. Let's open the eyes of our minds so that before you, you take the authority of what it means to be alive, of what it means to be young, what it means to be brown, what it means to be black, what it means to be talented, what it means to be an intelligent human being, what it means to be gifted, what it means to be beautiful. Take back the ownership of what it means to be young, of what it means to be brown, of what it means to be black, of what it means to be talented.